Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Here's Ahmad Nasser from Beers 8 University. Here's in my channel, Stereo 007. We're gonna begin talking about banker algorithm. I guess this tutorial gonna be um, two or three parts, but you know, it, it just I, I try to make it as easy as possible. So let's begin. Uh, first thing we have deadlock avoidance. We use a banker algorithm to 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 avoid the deadlock. So we have this process required this resource and this other process required this resource. So we, we have this cycle. So we need to avoid this. So that's why we're gonna develop a banker algorithm. Um, it's banker algorithm. They use it in banks. So bank system and so stuff like that. But I, I'm not I'm not uh, actually uh, you know a uh, completely accurate or. Um, I don't have the knowledge if they are use it for sure or not, but it's a solution for the deadlock. So first thing we have number of processes. A process can be a customer, can be uh, employee, can be people, anything you want. So it's a process. We have this process require many resources. Sometimes it has no resources. Sometimes it has one resource, two resource, three resources, and four. So we have M for resource types, or let's say number of resources is M, and number of processes customers stuff like that is M so this is the basic thing that we're gonna know here we have available and we have max and we have allocation and we have other fourth one which is the need need is just the subtraction of max minus allocation and we have available which is just a vector can be a one-dimensional array which is a number of um, let's say um, the request for the resources okay so maybe if we have four resources, we got to have available of size four. So we got to have one, two, three, four, for example. And we have four resources. So one, two, three, four going to be an available resources uh, that we got to use here. We have max, which is the maximum number of resources for um, all the processes. Okay, so we have max, which is N times M. You know, it's a matrix. So we have two data structure here, the, the, a matrix for max and a matrix for allocation, right? So the max, the max uh, is a matrix for the maximum number, max demand for processes, okay? And allocation is also the number of allocation, which is a matrix for um, the, each process. So we have number of resources for each process. Uh, so we're gonna have matrix here because we have many processes, we have many uh, resources we're gonna have a matrix for allocation so basically the need is the fourth one which is as I said it's the subtraction of the maximum demand of processes minus or maximum demand matrix minus the allocation so we're gonna have the need so we have a, an algorithm to develop bankers uh, algorithm so we have an algorithm we're gonna move step by step to use it so first, first thing we have, uh, as we said, we have a request, okay, and um, request say it's available for for initial purpose purposes. We have need, which is the subtraction of maximum minus allocation. So if the request of the resources that we have right now is less than the need, we gotta go to step two. Else we're gonna throw an error. If request is less than available we go step three if not we're gonna wait so if we go with step three we're gonna say available is equal to available minus request allocation is equal allocation plus the request and the need is gonna be equal to need minus the request for i so we gotta check the the if the new state is safe okay if it's safe we gotta say the sequence is safe we gotta have a safe sequence for example zero one zero one three four two maybe the the safe sequence and uh, the safety algorithm uh, after we got the, the 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 available we got the the the, ma the max the, the need algorithm the, the need uh, matrix which is the subtraction of the max minus allocation we gotta have a need we just want to work with a safety algorithm so initially we say work is equal to available and initially finish is equal to false so we're gonna find an item that finish of y is equal to false and need is less than the work if no such an item we go to step four if we have an item we have go we have to go to step three if we go to step four we're gonna say finish is equal to true for all the item uh, you know we gotta have a system in a safe state 
we got to, you know, if that condition is not satisfied, we're going to say work is equal to work plus allocation. And we're going to set the finish to be equal to true. And we just keep repeating this step. We'll go to step number two and check again and always, always do this step until we got a safe sequence. So this is the safety algorithm. This is the banker algorithm. But forget about all what we have talked about. Let's talk for real right now. We have resources A, B, C. We have three resources. We have five processes. All the time you were given these two. The resources, the processes. Okay. We have allocation and we have max. Okay. So first thing you need to calculate the number of available. So the number of available, you're going to calculate them by using the following. We just say, okay, we have uh, three resources A, B, C. We just go A and add 2 plus 3 plus 2. We've got to have 7. So we have A here is 10, so we just subtract 10 minus 7, we have 3. And the same thing for B, we just add all these uh, rows, all these co uh, columns rows, we just add 1 plus 1 is 2, so 5 minus 2, we've got to have 3. And for C, we've got to say, okay, we have uh, 7 resources, we're going to subtract them from C, we've got to have 2, 1, 2, 7 minus 5 is going to have 2. So the first thing we calculate, the available. The next step we're going to calculate the, the, the need, which is the max minus the allocation. We're going to say 7 minus 0 is 7. 5 minus 1 is 4. 3 minus 0 is, is um, you know, is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1 and so forth. So we're going to have all the, the need matrix. As I said, it's subtraction of um, the max minus allocation. So we're going to have this matrix. So what is the next step? If you move back to the algorithm, so we're going to say work is equal to available, finish is equal to false. We're going to say if finish is less than, uh, phi is equal to false and need is less than the work, we're going to increment the work. If not, we're going to go to step, you know, it's going to go to step four and so forth. So let's, let, let's, let's see what is going on here. First thing we say, okay, we have available is equal to work. So if you look to the algorithm, we say work is equal to available. And here, we say work is equal to available. It's 3, 3, 2. We say finish. We begin B1. Finish of 1. First, we begin with P0. We have P0, but see this. 7, 5, 7, 4, 3 is, less than, is, is, is not uh, less than the work. Okay, it's bigger than work, so we're not going to take it. We move forward. We have B1. 1, 2, 2 is less than 3, 3, 2. So we're going to take this. So we say B1 is equal, finish 1 is equal to true. And we're going to uh, say the work is equal to uh, work plus allocation. So we got the allocation is for what? Allocation is for P1. So we're going to say, okay, B1 is true. And the work for P1 is going to be the allocation plus the work. So the, the work that we have here is 5, 3, 2. So what is the allocation? We move back to the allocation. We say 2, 0, 0. So 5, uh, 3, 3, 2 plus 2, 0, 0. We got to have 5, 3, 2. You see? So that's why we got add. We just have uh, now we have 5, 3, 2. So we keep going. We go to the B2. We say B2 is 6, 0, 0. 6, 0, 0 is not less than 5, 3, 2. We're not, we got not going to take it. So we move for B3. P3 is 0, 1, 1. We say 0, 1, 1 is less than 5, 3, 2. Okay, we take it. So we say 5, 3, 2 plus the allocation of P3. We move back to the allocation. P3 is 2, 1, 1. So we just add 5, 3, 2 plus 2, 1, 1. So we got have, um, we got have 7, um, 4, 3. So now we got have seven, four, three. So we kept going. We kept going uh, until we finish with a safe sequence. So if we keep repeating this process, we're gonna have finally uh, P four. We move back. Uh, you know, we move back to B zero and finish it. P two, B zero. All the finish is equal to true. So we gonna say after that we have a safe sequence. So we have P one, B three, P four, B zero, B two is a safe sequence. So what about after this, we got a request for P1 to be 102. So we have the customer number one or the process number one. We have a request for 102. So what, 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 what we can do right now? So the first thing we need to subtract, we need to subtract 
um, the new request from the the available. So we gotta say um, the new request is equal to or the new available is equal to available okay minus the request so this is where the algorithm see uh, uh, um, the you know we just subtract this available is equal to available minus the request this is the first thing available is equal to available minus the request okay so we take it so uh, we have a 332 here it's the work minus the request we got to have 3 minus 1 is 2 and 3 minus 0 is 3 and th 2 minus 2 is 0 so we got to have this new available what about the allocation and need? What about the, the allocation? The allocation is equal to allocation plus the request. So we just gonna add, we just gonna add um, the, the new request, which is P1, to the allocation. So the allocation that we have is 200. Zero, zero. When we add it, when we add to it uh, 102, we gonna have 302. So that's why we gotta have this allocation. Okay? And the need, the new need that we have, that we gotta have is equal to need minus the request. The new need that we gotta have right now is equal to need minus the request. So we gotta subtract um, from the need. We have the need, uh, the, if you look to the need, which is 122, two, if we subtract 102 one zero two from the need, we gotta have 0, um, 2, 0. So this is the new need that we gotta have. So we continue with the same thing, just except the new process here. We just, you know, do this. And we got the need, so we just keep repeating the, the, the process again. We say, okay, we got uh, the work is equal to, uh, you know, available to 3, 0, and finish is equal to true. If it, You know, if the same process. We got to have B1, B3, B4, B0, B2. So, you know, maybe you, you got to have many uh, safe sequences. It's not just one you know but this is the the, the algorithm I, I, you know this is an exercise for you you can use it you can solve it and try to to you know to practice more in this topic it's not uh, the the hard algorithm uh, I want to show you a quick program here a quick demo on um, uh, the banker algorithm before we get started into the implementation with the, with Java and code so first thing that enter five customers and uh, number of resources into four uh, resources and uh, let's import these data we have a file we imported the allocation and the, the maximum demand and let's enter a request to one zero zero and let's check so we calculate the need here okay we calculated the need and say you want to insert a new um, request no I don't want to insert if you want to insert a new request let's say yes I want to insert for request 0 let's say 0 0 0 0 so we gotta have uh, system is in safe state because we didn't change anything so it was in a safe state and it's still in the safe state so we say request can be granted this is an example of implementation for banker al algorithms using uh, uh, Java so in the next example we gotta implement know how to build this user interface and how to to implement the algorithm using mm, you know uh, Java so I hope you like it guys don't forget to subscribe uh, put likes comments and you more than welcome and um, thank you again and see you in another tutorial in part two thank you